ball down in the zone and try to let her defense work behind her. And we are underway as the first pitch, a strike from Madison Kerpix, who is in the circle to start off this weekend. And the 2-2, and into the outfield, Sydney Chambly is underneath it. And now two away with Kerpix in the circle. What does she offer you? with this program, six tournament appearances under her leadership. We'll dribble her over Bojan, and Emily Bojan is retired, but not before Wisconsin's able to manufacture a run. The Georgia Bulldogs' bats are coming up when we return. Goes to the dugout, a pinch runner in for her, trying to lay down the sacrifices. Peyton Bannon, and does so successfully. A wonderful start to the season for Wisconsin. And this one, tough inside, and coming over to get it is Emily Digby from first base. Well, she says we don't hit home runs like that, says Coach Yvette Healy, however, Ellie Hubbard says, I'm ignoring that message. I'm just going to keep on going with what we've been doing and not in and out the park. It's it off here. The All-American bounces it up the middle past the diving second baseman and the leadoff single for Sydney Kuma. And then back, the Tigers are among the most loaded. Hit well sharply, Emily Digby has it. And the three starting weekend, and Larissa Anderson always does such a great job with her program up in Missouri. Hard hit over to second base, and the 6 4 put out ends the inning. So the Georgia Bulldogs have a 1 2 3 inning behind the back. You come into the season learning to expect to expect the unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Tough hop for Skyler Sir Dashney and kind of took an unexpected hop there for her. And then Ellie Armstead ends up at second base as it continues to roll down the left field line. He's the leadoff hitter for this Georgia Bulldog team and just laces this one over the center fielder's head. Peyton Banning wasn't necessarily sure how fast and hard that was coming. And George is on the board. And the pitcher does have to separate their arms in the delivery by the time that clock hits zero. And Jada Kearney lays that one into the left center gap. And rounding third and coming home as Sarah Mosley cut the lead in half. Here come the dogs. Too, I think of the volleyball and the way that it's exploded as well. So much excitement. Another national championship over in Tampa. And Kuzak striking out. Correction, that's Bark on the strikeout. The one two count to the junior swings through that one. And Lily Backus and that changeup so tough. A couple of strikeouts here in the inning. And now with the full count. Sends this one flying, no scoreboard in center field, but that's okay, there's some trees there to try to collect. We'll right on cue for Sydney Kuma. A complete control that bat by Sydney Kuma. We just heard Coach Baldwin talking about them needing to stay disciplined in the zone, even with two strikes. The strike zone still exists. This is a pitch pretty much right down the heart of the plate, and Sydney Kuma gets all of it. A 3 2 count, goes after it, drives it out to center field. Those are the types of swings that Coach Baldwin, Baldwin is wanting to see more consistently out of his offense in this ballgame. Going to see the reigning SEC champs will take on the ACC champs, Florida State on the full count. The swing and trying to beat it out. And Sarah Gordon is able to do so. 
Hit it deep to short, little bobble there from Hubbard. So much excitement that surrounds the softball season. Why there's so much buildup leading into a tournament like this. The grounder over to second base, and it's these types of events that help to build that exposure. I mean, to the staff. Retiring 10 of the last 11 batters. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Lily Backus, registering a handful high five Ks on the day. All morning long into the afternoon on the opening day here. From this wonderful preseason event put on by ESPN Events. And Dempsey, the pinch hitter, is retired after one swing. This transfer battery with Backus and Sarah Gordon behind the plate. And it looks sharp thus far. Eight pitch inning for Backus. Sydney Kuma coming up in this next inning, and look at what she did her last half at, driving this one well beyond that center field wall. See if she can spark the Bulldogs offense. In the preseason, that's where they ended last year behind Tennessee. That one, and on a rope to left field. Experience matters in the SEC. A player like Sydney Kuma brings that to the to keep those pitches in front. And that one over to shortstop, and what a play made by Armistead. Armistead making that ground ball up the middle look so easy. The country. He would provide a huge boost to this Badger ball club, but Lily Backus is going to give her squad a chance. Armistead, Mosley, and Kearney do up what the dogs have. Off wonder from the Bulldogs. This one into right field, and the side it drops in front of the right fielder, and this has got extra bases all the way to third, and Armistead leading it off. The triple, the tying run at third. Last set of attempts. Waited on that one, third baseline, ties up the ball game. Shelby Walters retires Brooke Cuffle. Yeah. Right ahead of that one. And the strikeout. To actually push across a run. Tried to show that squeeze as well. Hits the runner. And Chamblee ties it up. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Buddy away. Can't see Rudity up the plate. Paige Miller trying to lay down the sack bunt is able to do so and advancing the runner over at third LSU. Meanwhile. Walters. Gets the strikeout. So now it's Seesaws back to the Georgia Bulldogs in the bottom of the ninth. Can they answer? And even to Mosley, and Mosley punches it through. And rolls into the infield, the RBI for Sarah Mosley. Strikeout recorded by Walters. A big one there, the first out of the inning. Start the game. The four bomb weekend and taking a really generous lead. And now the rundown with Cusack. She's going back and forth. 
And finally tagged out. Second out of the inning. That's huge. Big jump, leap, got out there. Hung out to dry. I think I've seen more squeeze and squeeze attempts in this ball game than I did all of the 2023 season. But good <laughs> defense here by Georgia going back and forth in this rundown, making sure that they keep the runner between them. And finally, it's Emily Digby that applies the tag to get that out. And they also keep the runner at third base. And going out chasing that one, the strikeout. Shelby Walters is pumped up about it because Wisconsin was threatening, but Shelby Walters stands up and delivers. The defense stepped up, and Shelby Walters, the veteran in the circle, steps up, getting a huge strikeout of Brooke Kuffel, and now the Georgia Bulldogs with an opportunity to walk off the Wisconsin Badgers. Well, Dallas, good night in her first game of the season with the Bulldogs, walks it off! Well, how about that to start off your 2024 campaign? Dallas delivers one heck of an effort put up by Tessa Magnanimo and the Wisconsin Badgers, but it's the Georgia Bulldogs who prevail in extras. Dallas Goodnight, the hero for Georgia, primarily a slapper. We talked to Coach Baldwin. She's been working on going up there and swinging away, increasing her power. She comes up with two away, bases loaded, decides to swing away, and ultimately gets the walk-off hit.